guys familiar with the tabletop simulator? No. Familiar <laughs> enough, but uh, not extremely. <laughs> you can figure All it right. out. All well, right. Uh, we could do a, a quick run through of the just like the basic controls if you want to. Whatever you think is best. All right. <laughs> I think it's best. <laughs> Oh, there's a flip the table button. I see that one. <laughs> That's a very, very dangerous button. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. We just, um, like uh, two weeks ago, we were at the uh, Danish uh, board game uh, convention slash competition. Uh -huh. And literally the first thing everyone does <laughs> is That's come right. to the server. Press the button, press the button. <laughs> It does reset automatically right back, right? If you do flip the table. Uh, no, we, you have to manually. Like, reset. No, are you serious? That's horrible. <laughs> because we're using like this uh, this fancy table. Please... Uh, it always bugs out. <laughs> Please tell me we can turn that off so I don't accidentally click it. I don't actually know if, it's if you want to try it. I think this oh. is the moment to try it. <laughs> this is the moment. This is the moment. Oh, it's wait, not, wait, it wait. doesn't work. It doesn't work. You somehow yeah, turned turn it off. That's stream. awesome. Huh? Uh, sorry, should you live stream or me? Uh, you can go ahead and live stream. Yeah. And maybe you can even flip the table for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? We're ready. <laughs> Three, I'm in, I'm two, ready. one. Unleash the beast. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> also, do you want to see a secret Easter egg? Whoa. You see it Whoa. all the way under here? Here is a tiny picture of a cat. <laughs> so when we started making like the the tabletop version of the game, um, because we didn't know how the program worked, I tried to incorporate the picture, and somehow that one glitched through the table. And we didn't realize it until we were like, uh, <laughs> almost complete. <laughs> so it's been with us uh, ever since. I'm just hoping like the, the photographer doesn't come and like copyright claim us. Because we can't remove it. <laughs> it's stuck. Uh, right, so I'm going to reload the game. Uh, so the password, it's beasts in all lo um, lowercase. Ah, okay. Did I click show setup mode? Um, we're going to skip it for now, uh, and after I have explained rules and like the, the basics of the game, uh, then we'll do a uh, setup instead. Hello, Draken. Hey, I'm here. Hey, Draken. Oh, hello, hello. Nice to see you again. Hey, you made okay. it. So, um, should we perhaps <coughs> do a split into two different rooms? Then? Um, yeah, Should, or maybe. should we do like one unified rules explanation? I don't know what's... Uh, we can what's do a unified rule explanation. Yeah, we can do that, and then we can, we can uh, back up. And then I can set everything up. In the meanwhile... And I am going to turn off my uh, webcam just to save some bandwidth. There we go. Um, Bad Kerning is streaming us playing this game right now. Oh, so am I. There we go. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, bum, the drenched bum, bum. lands. All right. Well, while, while, while one guy is setting it up, I don't know if we have more than one uh, developer in here, but I would love to hear the story of how the game came to be while he's setting everything up. 
So uh, yeah, um, I'm one of the uh, orig original developers, uh, along with my brother, Elon, and then Azor joined uh, just a couple of months ago. Um, well, the story is, um, so back uh, when we first started making uh, like the initial prototypes, both me and my brother, we lived in uh, a different end of the country. I lived way down south in Sweden, in Malmö. Mm -hmm. And Elon lived uh, pretty much as far up as you can go. And we both began experimenting with uh, board game ideas. He wanted to make some kind of like uh, cooperative drafting game, and I wanted to make some kind of uh, horror game. Um, mm -hmm. I had been playing a lot of Bloodborne at the time, okay. um, which was definitely one of the, uh, the main influences. And uh, so, and when he finally moved to Malmö, we sort of like combined our ideas. We talked about uh, uh, what we would like in a game. We uh, decided we didn't. We wanted something that was like uh, heavily in theme. But what theme? Also something. That, um, so the theme of this game, you, you're, you're gonna get a bit of uh, like the lore backstory okay. as well. Um, but the theme of this game is that uh, the hunters are desperate for a new lo uh, location to settle, new lands to live in as their own land are dying. The crops are turning up uh, black and already rotting. Uh, people are growing sicker and sicker by the day. So they're desperate for a new land. Okay. And as they move north to a place called the Northern Expanse, uh, they began expanding. They began chopping down the forest. They began fishing up lakes and uh, uh, yes, do what humans do best, basically. And their presence they awoke something that had been sleeping and slumbering in these lands Ooh. for quite a while. And these are ancient, almost godlike creatures called beasts. Okay. And the beasts, well, they draw po f their power from like forests, from the swamps, and from the caves, or mountains, these purple ones. And they desperately want to get rid of the humans. So you have kind of a conflict between one of these six beasts and the hunters. Like specialized trackers and warriors from the human sides, okay. trying to defend the humans while the beast, well, they want their lands back. Good and good. one of you is actually going to play as the beast. Oh, oh on. Yes. Can we just hold up a bit? We have uh, one more player in the game that's in the voice chat. Okay, I'm yeah. Trying to make him uh, join the voice call as well before you start explaining the rules. All right, right. Then I will hold up a minute. So, are you familiar with um, Neil Neil Gaiman's American Gods series? I love that book. It is uh, one of my all-time favorites. There you go. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like it's kind of like they have to have so much worship. The, the The beast is like that. It gets the power from the totems, I guess, of like the forests. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Hello. actually a pretty good uh, comparison, yeah. Okay. Hello, James. Hello. I, hey. I found the room. I had the, the whole thing collapsed. I didn't see it. I'm like, I, I figure something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very welcome. So you have a, um, a um, server name and a server password back in the text channel. And we're playing through the tabletop simulator. It's so actually already in the game. Or in the game. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Terrible sorry. Uh, all right. So we're thinking like we would do a rules expl explanation over here, and then we'll separate us into two different rooms because this game is for two to four players. So, anyways, welcome to Beast, everyone. So, uh, so uh, well, I'm very happy that you want to play it. Um, and so, what you're looking at right now, this two-sided map, is called the Northern Expanse. And when the humans first arrived, this place was filled with unspoiled forests. It was filled with lakes, uh, filled to the brim with uh, like freshwater fish, and the mountains were still wild. Um, but as they expanded, and they had to do this because their old lands were dying, they moved here because of a dire need. But as they expanded, as their settlement slowly grew, they pushed over and over, extended their borders, 
something in this forest awake and awoke. And that was these great and ancient beasts. The beasts, they draw their power from the forest, from the caves, and from the lakes of these lands. And they want to get rid of the humans. They want it like, like it was before. And one of us is actually going to play the beast. Cyborg. And the beast player is <laughs> a bit like that, yeah. Uh, is facing up against every other player in the game. So we're going to do a two versus one or even three versus one. Mm. The other players. They are hunters. They are the only ones of the humans who are actually specialized enough to like traverse the forest to pick up the trails and the signals of uh, like the clues where the beast has been. Because the beast it moves in the shadows. It starts out quite weak. It grows stronger with each kill and each blood it drains. So um, we can change it. Anyone? I don't know if you have like. Uh, oh, I really want to be the beast. I want to be a big bad wolf. Otherwise, we'll just like decide that later. No preference. Uh, sure, we can decide later. We can decide it after the rules explanation. Uh, but just to make this a bit easier, I'm going to call Fanger James from this moment. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, James, you are a big bad wolf, and you're going to get. You win if you manage to kill two of these settlers. And these settlers, they are actually quite well protected. From the get-go, your attacks only deal one damage. And these have two health, so you can't quite kill them as easily as you would like. You need to grow strong first. And you can grow stronger by eating sheep, eating boars along the way. Gain power. So I'll get back to that later. You also move by the map in secret. You move by playing hidden cards. The rest of us, we are hunters. We win either by killing the beast, dealing the dent, if you zoom in over there, four damage to the beast. Or if enough time passes, we will have even more reinforcement, even more hunters arriving from the south. That means that we as the hunters, we automatically win. So if enough rounds passes, three rounds passes, uh, the hunters win. Okay, so um, this game features a whole lot of different cards. We have abilities, which are like coded by the back set. See the same pictures. So. We have action cards, probably the most important cards of the game. And we even have beastly talents and items. During your turn, you always do up to two things. You can either play up to one orange card, or, sorry, not either. You can play up to one orange card and up to one blue card. The type of card, it doesn't matter. It's always the same, up to one red and, or orange and up to one blue. This means that if you want to move your character, you have to have a card that says that you can move. If you want to attack something, well, you gotta have a card that says that you can attack. Um, and I think I'll start with just the movement part. Um, let's see, I'm gonna pick another card for the explanation. And also, before I continue, you see these cards, the action cards, that they have two boxes. Um, these are cards that are gon going to be passed around for every player, which means that both hunters and the bees are going to be playing well the same cards. Um, the hunters. They look at the top card, part of the card, while the beast looks at the bottom. Most often, these effects are quite similar, but a bit stronger for the beast, since the beast is well like a four meter tall wolf or frog or anything. So it, it kind of makes sense that they, they get the better part. Um, let's see. So, James, if you want to move, you play your card, you play the rush card. You look at the bottom card, part of the card, which says that you can move three steps without leaving your zone. When you move, you don't actually move your marker. This is only a representation of your last known location, the last location where the hunter knew where you are. Instead, you go over to this 
<laughs> kind of ugly red box. <laughs> Uh, the reason why there's a red, red box over here is that only the beast player, only the red player can actually see the inside of this box. I'm just going to go ahead and actually remove the content from the box so everyone else can see it. You can see you have a whole lot of cards which says like north, it says west, south, east, and even no movements. So if you would move three steps, you instead of moving your marker, you pick Cards. Oh. You pick an equal amount of cards from here. So let's say you move one step west, one step north, and another step north. And you, of course, place these face down. So, as I said, I can show them again. You move west, north, and north. You know that you are over here, but the hunters, all they know is that you have moved three steps in this location. If a hunter on the other hand would move, let's say that we have this. Let's say a hunter would play uh, the same card. A hunter, uh, Draken, you are playing this card. Rush. Okay. And you get to move two steps. You move exactly as you'd imagine. You move your character one step and then another step. Mm. However, if you would move over location, in which James, the big bad wolf, has been on. He has to place a trail on that location, so you get kind of a clue on where he is. Aha! Uh -huh. So you move one step, you have one more step to move. So okay, he has moved three steps. You can see there's a trail over here, two steps, steps away. Maybe he's heading for that uh, door over there. Let's check it out. And you can script it. Another trail. And what do you do when you can see that you're, you can see a trail three steps away? You know he's only moved three steps, so he has to be in that location. Well, ah. each so. hunter comes equipped with... Not fucking that. 0, 0, 3, 0, 5, 3, 8, 8. Does it mean that the beast at this location, or it was in that location? Uh, it means that, uh, in this case, it means that the beast is on this location. It's just hidden. So the you can see you have three steps, and that's a trail three locations away. So my first action was to move, play that card and move two steps. I found where he was. Now I'd like search my location and attack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Every hunter in the game has an ability card called Hunt, and Hunt lets you actually check if that's his location. So whenever you search your location, you uh, you kind of force the beast to to uh, say, "Are you here?" And the beast responds with either yes or no. Uh, in this case, the beast is there. The beast then reveals how he has moved. He updates his marker, and because this card even says that you attack, the beast takes one damage. So that and it's an attack from a hunter, just one damage every time. Or? Yeah. Almost always. We have a way to temporarily increase the damage. So I'll get to that later. But okay, 90% okay. of the time, it's as, one damage. As a general rule, it's one damage per attack. Yeah, all attack deals one damage as a general rule. Yeah. And if we manage to actually deal four damage to the beast, well, poor James is dead. Oh. Okay. So there are some other instances in which the beast would actually reveal itself. If the beast would attack, Let's just, sorry, I'm just going to clean up <laughs> all these cards real quick. Um, if the beast would attack for some reason, I can check one of the beast cards over here. If you don't, let's say beast plays prey upon, which lets beast both move one step and attack. If the beast would attack in the location, um, he or she would also have to reveal the hunters from here, the, either the settlers or the sheep or the boats, and they instantly know where they are. So the beast has to reveal all the movement cards and update this marker as well. No, the reason why beast wants to attack the sheep and the boars is because the beast wants to grow stronger. If you look at the bottom part of the map, you can see that each animal, each sheep, and even deer, settler, and super settler has a certain set of attributes. They each have a set amount of health, an amount of damage they can take, and an amount of grudges, as we call them, the main resource in the game. And these grudges, grudges, they are used to upgrade the character and play some of the more expansive and good cards in the game later on. 
And I take it when uh, the beast attacks, then you clear the tracks because you now know where he's at. Yeah, yeah exactly, tracks. exactly. So you clear the tracks and uh, yeah, remove all the tracks from the, uh, from the map or the trains. Uh, and how beast can deal two damage? So um, the beast can deal two damage in two different ways. Uh, before I ask you, it's a great question, but I'm going to get back to that in just one bit. I'm actually going to ask you to turn your camera, and you can do that by right clicking and just dragging it. And we're going to look over here. Okay. So the beast is played in three rounds, um, and each round has three different phases. We have a dawn phase. Dawn, it just means that our hands are going to get reset. We're going to get a new hands of fresh cards. Day is the phase that I just described where you play up to one red card or orange card and up to one blue card. During the day, you may also choose to discard one card just to move one step. It's called flee. It's a kind of desperate action you can use when you are in trouble. And you can also pass. Um, and pass, you can only pass if there are no other players with less action cards in hand than you. After Every player has passed in a consecutively order. Sorry for my English there, <laughs> like in a row. Um, the day is over, and we move over to night. So after every player has passed, we move over to the night phase. In the night phase, we're going to do a few different things. We're going to check contract rewards. We'll get to those later. There are also like side quests during the game. We're going to discard any remaining action cards. We're going to reset the Beast Talents items. We'll also get to those later. And then we're going to get back our abilities, and both beasts and hunters are going to get to upgrade. So each beast in the game has a smorgasbord of different powerful upgrades. The most notable of these is, of course, your, your attack steals two damage. This is quite expensive. It costs five grudges. But it's also very, very good, because it means that you can kill the settlers with like little to no restraints. You can one shot them uh, in most cases. It's very good. Yeah. And when most uh, people have four health, two damage is a lot more than one, it seems like. Exactly. Uh, so that's very dangerous. Five grudges is quite a lot, though. It's not easy to get there, but it's very good. Other than that, there are going to be ways that you can get these swords in the game. And these act as a temporary damage increase, which you can at any time discard to increase your next attack by one. So those are kind of the main ways of uh, increasing the, your damage. OK. Um, so far, so good. Any questions? So far? Seems good so far. All right. So um, before we actually begin playing, I'm going to explain just some of the terminology of the game. Uh, many cards uses the word nearby. And nearby, it means your location and every adjacent location as well. Your location and every adjacent location. Also, if a beast, for some reason, would move over the same location as a settler, that settler is going to be terrified, scream, and a trail would appear. That's, that settler is gonna, it's gonna tell the hunters. It's gonna snitch. When you say uh, adjacent, not diagonally, just the north, south, east, west, not exactly. Uh, exactly. Okay. Just location yeah. connected yeah. by the three. Yeah. 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 By these three exactly. yeah. or yeah. our blue dots. Okay, okay, I see it. Yeah. Okay. And finally, um, the beast is actually not as alone as we might have think. Uh, the beasts are gonna play cards with this hand symbol. And this hand it lets beast summon a little helper, and each beast has different monsters you can help them. Fanger has small wolves. And when the beast plays a hand card, um, he can either place a new wolf on a forest up to two locations away from his actual location, or he can move one step and attack with each wolf on the map. Um, I'll <laughs> return to that later, because I think we're heading uh, towards information overload. Um, but that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. When uh, when uh, the monster uses his summons to attack, does he get the benefit? Like if he if uh, the summoned wolf attacked the boars, would would that count as him eating 
the board. No, he will not be good against the okay. reward okay. for that. That's correct. Gotcha. Um, but um, if you have an effect that says that you want to have like kill two ships or one board, that will count for us. And it can also help you kill uh, the settlers. These wolves are great at dealing like that second damage. Okay. Because they're quite uh, quite agile. Okay. Um, I actually think we're going to restart server and actually start uh, playing the game. So I think we should do awesome. the separation right now. Yay! Okay. So I think we are. Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are eight people. So we are more than that. We are more than max at the moment. And some and Anton come. We can split oh. the two games. Yeah, I think so. so. We're going to split up in two. There's still uh, more than uh, what we can have. Oh. So, um, uh, how about we do it like this? So, uh, perhaps Luva, James, yeah. and uh, Beth Kerning. And perhaps one more. Um, let's see. A Drakken. Uh, okay. you, you can stay in this room. And maybe Anton. In some games, move to voice channel number two. And uh, troll would where should troll would be with you? What do you say? Uh, let's do see. Two more? Um, um, two. Uh, I I out again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay I think we're good. Okay. Sorry, you said uh, my name twice. Did you, did you want me in room one or room two? Uh, you can stay in room one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm moving over to room two, and all the cool party people. Yeah, that's right. Me. <laughs> hey, this is the coolest room. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, really good guys. We have James, um, the big bad wolf, in our room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will, I will go then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see uh, which one it says. Ian, Sam, and Anton, uh, would you like to move along with uh, Azar? If you can hear us. I'm not sure if Anton is listening. He's got a lot of no background noise. Yeah. I kind of muted him a while ago. Yeah, I muted him a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now he's um, muted. Like, okay, um, I'm actually going to do, do the same. I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he muted yeah. himself. He muted now. himself now. <laughs> okay, in that case. So uh, let's see then. Uh, we still have quite a lot of people. Um, Nobody wants to go with SR. <laughs> <laughs> no, they want to stay with the Big Bad Wolf. Uh, I'll <laughs> tell you what, I'll, yeah. I'll move over with SR. Yeah, I'll, oh. I'll move too. It's fine. Hey, yeah, sorry. Hello. Hey, I don't know why people weren't moving, but so I just yeah. moved. Yeah. Same. That's nice. Which... I'm a team so player, we... damn it. Are you gonna Are you gonna make another server that in tabletop that we should join? Yes, I have uh, actually made one. Okay. Well, basically, this thing I think is demo of this room number two at our shocks. The password is the same as well. Is it just you two? Or is um, um, someone else moving? I don't know. Uh, everybody he told to this go to this room didn't go. And then he told James to go to both rooms, so I don't know what James <laughs> is. So <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't know. We were just Kerning cur and I, I think we we're just trying to fix this, you know? Yeah. yeah. But... All right. I think those other two guys that you're later, Anton and Ensam, are a bit drunk. I heard another friend and he's the one to play. So we'll, we'll see what they will, they will do. So under server so, browser, just type beast. As, as just a search for beast, I think. Yeah, if you like to... oh, shucks. Yeah. Server name. Beast. It is not showing up for me. Let me X out. 
Let's see what happens. Join. Search. B E A. There we are. Beast two. Nice. Do we need one more person? You can play as three. But uh, I think in, in the all ones room, it, there's still a lot of people. Alright, I'm, we'll I'm gonna go. Uh, I mean, at the... I'm gonna recruit one and be right back. Four hey, players, right? Hey, really cool players. Hey, really cool people. We need one more in Beast Room 2 <laughs> to come with the uh, the drag people, you know. the. <laughs> this is like this is like high school all over again. Nobody wants to play with me. Go ahead. Exactly. Get your ass. Um, gonna... Yeah, I want to play my own game. <laughs> I'm gonna join. We're four player. How many will be? And then maybe we can go through a, a set. I think I can. I think I can guess which one's your favorite. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. So did you manage to recruit? Uh, I'm about to uh, grab somebody by the ear. How many people they got? They got, well, Anthon I don't think is actually playing. I think he's just in the room. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, plus um, Aaron. Um, I guess not. Yeah. I guess not. Then we will... Uh... Yeah, that's fine with me. I thought that, I thought they needed one uh, one person less, but oh my gosh, she's contract. Yeah, so we're going to play. I don't know if all on there uh, when food is, but the two ty types of contracts. We are going to play the faster, more intense one. Sounds it has, good. Uh, two nights, and uh, you start out with a little bit. Of, oh, that's all it will take. Uh, so on, yeah, 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 exactly. We are three players, and who wants to go as the beast? I'll, I'll uh, I'm your hunter. Sure. That's all right. Well, I, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm. That's <laughs> not him. That's me. <laughs> He's yeah. Itari. 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 No, no, Itari. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. Itari, you can. Um, oh, I can pick. It's the arrows exactly. Ooh. That one looks scary. I think I'm probably going to go with that one. <laughs> yeah, let's do Mara, Sovereign of the Endless, Endless Night. Endless Night. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake. We're, we're <laughs> yeah, the best yeah, yeah. in Mara. <laughs> a novice move right there. Asar, are you going to be Asar? <laughs> <laughs> that would make things Maybe. super easy. <laughs> Did you name him at? Is that what you named the character in the game after your gamer tag or something, or was it the other way around? Uh, it's it, because they started making this game. Uh, of me, not really without me, but they started with for me before I was part of the team. Okay. But I helped them out quite a lot in the beginning. Yes, and because of that, they wanted that and named the character after me. There you it go. Until, uh, uh, a couple right, of months ago, they actually joined officially in the team. Okay. So it, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, nice. Thank you. Hmm. I will go as. I'm gonna go with. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with Varja. So decide from there who's who's guess who's a good combo with her. I will go with Gin. And you can play it ready and then all. Oh. Da, da, da. And we get oh our man, I drew a broken hand. Is... You're, going, you're going down. I drew broken hands. So, first thing, you are going to the end of Oh, so the map is smaller because it's a three player game. Gotcha. Yeah, if you, it if also you... depends on the, the contract. Yeah. If you shift click, you can see the big map on the other side. Shift click? That's the. Shift, ah. shift all. Oh. Oh, my fault. Yeah, you could I didn't realize it did it for everybody. Map. My fault. If you if you just shift alt, you'll look under cards, and that's how yeah, I was looking at the other side of the board. Ah, oh, okay. But you, I cool. think you got to flip it back to the. Yeah, there we go. Else. Okay. Oh, right. I'm just gonna. 
I remember the order of how stuff happens, and I believe we are going to do uh, the beginner's mode, and we are going to get action cards pre-dealt in our hands. Because usually you drop the cards, the action cards, but it can be quite hard to know exactly which card is right or good for you at the beginning. So uh, we come up with a way to solve this, and this is by revealing cards. Oh, oh, oh we can just, that's right. We can draft, I don't mind. Yeah, let's, let's draft. Card. Yeah, we have already messed up, so <laughs> let's draft. So here uh, we have the uh, action cards. The action cards usually, okay. I was like, do they usually like hang on the side? <laughs> it's just to make things easier to see. And each hunter, you and uh, me, we can, we're going to take three cards in this pile. You as the hunter, you take three cards and you take one extra that you put on the side. So you take three cards. You... Exactly, you take card. three cards. That want to decide that you want to draw. So these three cards. Wait, it says three draw. play three players deal four cards to each player. Yeah, and we take okay. four cards. My mistake. My bad. Sorry. Oh. So we take four cards. Yeah. One card and send the remaining to the left. Repeat this until our cards have been picked. Okay. Uh, so I'll take four cards. Right, and then uh, you and me, Draken, you should uh, kind of try to cooperate to see uh, what, the, what the good strike strategy might be. But I'm going to be passing it to the beast, huh? Yes, exactly. Oh. Mm. So, kind of like uh, Seven Wonders. You pass them over to yeah. your... I see. And the beast is going to pass his cards to me. Do I draw four right now as well, or? I'm sorry, you broke up. Say that. Yes. Yes, I draw four. Okay. Yes, so you draw four cards. All right. Gotcha. But I'm only going to pass the four over. I started with four cards. The four on the right now are the ones that I will pass exactly. over. So the four to the left are your ability cards. Gotcha. We'll always have them, and then right, the right. So do I need right. to? Do I need to attack other things other than the um than the beast? Am I going to be hitting boars and stuff too, or does the be just the beast do that basically? If we look at the beast, put them over here, over her, Ari. He can uh, summon. Yeah, Banshee. other than the summons. Okay. Uh, no, only the summons and the beast. Okay. Okay. So we attack. So maybe attacking isn't that important on round one, where we don't know where you are and there's no summons up. So I look at the bottom. Movies. So I look right. at the bottom parts. Hmm. Uh, so I'm, pick this one. I'm picking one, and then I'm going to pass the other three over? Yep. Exactly. All right. So how do I pass them over? What? I usually ah. select them by dragging the mouse and then uh, flip them over. Here are the three I passed to By pressing F. Pick with F. Gotcha. Alright. Now put these cards here. Oh. Oh, how do I... Grab all three of them. You can uh, press the left, left mouse button and. Yeah, it's only yeah, take, you can, taking, uh, you... taking one at a time. <laughs> you can uh, hold down your mouse uh, a while. Hold it. There we go. And yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> all right. And then I brag these three. Now I can I can drop. I can decide to take. Oh, did you just put stuff directly in my hand? Okay. It's not. Oh, there we go. But so the one that you kept last time, you have to keep. Yeah, you, that's exactly. one. You can't. Uh, you can't drop the one to pick. You can't. Yeah, you can't choose not to have that one anymore. Gotcha. Okay. It won't go into my hand. Why won't it? 
There we go. I can only do one at a time. I'm going to go to the wall. I'm going to give you this card. I so if a, if a card says do something and do something, if I can't do both, can I not play it? Uh, which one do you mean? This one right Jack here. One. So it says gain an item and attack a nearby summon. Well, I'd like to gain an item, but maybe if he doesn't summon anything, can I not use this? I use it. Just that you that? attack, so you, you can use it anyway. Okay. You just uh, you punch the air, basically. Um, and what is what is this? I thought this was... Oh, I use Grudge also? Yeah. On your uh... character map, you can uh, see that there are... Uh, you can upgrade two abilities. Okay. Also use Grudges to pay for uh, traps. And lay out those. Thank right. you, Melchior. Uh, right. I'm gonna... Okay, I picked one. Here, I'm passing two now. All right, and um, do we do we keep the last card or do we discard the last card? A uh, last card. Uh, you pass. Uh, you pass the last card. Okay. Yeah, you pass it, and that person's just stuck with the last. Card. Stuck with it. Gotcha. Yeah. I can't drag both right, cards press... to my thing at the same time. I have to do it press one at the... a time. Oh. One or two or three. Here's your last card. Okay. What's a beastly talent? It's the one of those cards over here. Over here. Gotcha. Okay. You don't want those though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your pass doesn't really matter, right? Because, I mean, it's still our cards anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I gave that one up earlier, and I'm back with it. <laughs> you will take All this right. card! Okay, so... Uh... Now, you as the beast, you are going to move two steps. Then after that, we as the hunters get to uh, place ourselves on the map. So I you can. Know what you guys, you guys should do for your mod, uh, make these like reference cards. Because yeah. otherwise, I, you have to zoom all the way in. You can't even, you can't even yeah. alt and look at the board because it comes upside down. You know. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That's good feedback. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so but I, I, you can save a camera on them if you, it, it, Terry. If you don't know how to do that, do you know how to do that? No, I don't. I do not. So just zoom, just zoom into it, and push uh, left control and one, and you'll save it as camera one. Gotcha. And then, and then every, no matter where you are, if you push shift one, you'll go right back to. Oh it. shit! Whoa! I just pushed shift one. No, no, no. Shift one. Shift one. <laughs> My fault, y'all. Uh, okay, where did it go? Uh, just, just rewind 15 seconds. You got the rewind, right? How do you do that? The top left. The back arrow. Back arrow. That's top left. Oh, okay, okay. No! Fast forward 10. Okay, let's fast oh, forward 10. Oh, you fast forward. Oh. Okay, I did stupid stuff. <laughs> Well, um, okay, let's just do this very quickly once again. We can redraft, that's no big deal. Oh, I still have my cards with my hand, though. Oh. <laughs> and I was... Uh, in gear, I believe. Alright, so, shift one, not one. I don't, what, what did I... When I pushed one... Uh, I, I have no idea what you press. Oh, we still don't have the board. The door is here. <laughs> but it's sitting on top of the pieces. Uh, 
Can uh, can only the host use the controls to rewind and all that? Yeah, or for somebody with permissions. Rewind 199 seconds. Should I do that? Yes. <laughs> try that. Yes. Yeah, try that. There we go. Okay. All right, I won't there push the number one again. All right, so <laughs> does the... um. Do we have all our cards and everything? Yes. Oops. We are not in the, the correct team, so we call it <clears throat> colors. Why can't I see my... Oh, gotcha. You gotta, you gotta sit back down in your spot. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Have all my cards? Yeah, this seems right. I'm supposed to... I'm missing uh, some... You should, you should lock some of that stuff in your mod so only the... Posts could move it to the board. <laughs> Looks like hmm. I have an extra card. I think I dropped the two cards, the action card, to the void. I don't think I'm supposed to have this card. No, yeah, I am supposed to have that one. Uh, I miss. You should have action. four action cards, right? And you have six. So he's got the extra two. Trying to remember which one I didn't have. Which one did I give up? I know the last one I passed you was Dark Rituals. So I'm supposed to keep that one, right? That's one of them you're supposed to keep. Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to have this one. So these should be in this action card file still, probably? Yeah, I'm, think I'm missing one, so I think that's there. All right, so the beast can move one every turn, and the beast goes first. So we're basically uh, looking at dawn. Each player picks one card, then sends the remaining cards. All right. All right, two players draw four cards. All right, day one. Do one of the following. Perform actions. Perform. The first thing you do as the beast is uh, <coughs> you move two steps automatically, or not automatically, but... It's a uh, start of the game uh, setup. Basically. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And how do you how do you guys making that little arrow appear to sh to show what you're Tab. pointing at? Tab. Yeah, that right. Tab. Like, what does that symbol mean? What is that? It's a cave habitat. Cave habitat. Look, look over that there. You'll see that your character or your beast likes to be over cave habitats. On some of your ability cards. You can always see here mm. has that symbol on them and that means that you can only play that card if you are on that habitat oh gotcha that's another indicator for us hunters as well that uh, we, can, we can try to estimate that you will probably be on a on a cave habitat gotcha so right now i'm just going to move to and I'm just going to count this as a tutorial moment and not take it too seriously. Do I actually move my piece or? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. It's hidden movement. It's hidden movement. So I do that by you coming move, over you here. Move, you put like gotcha. north and west right here. Gotcha. And they're face down. We know you moved two times, but we don't know where, you know? Okay. We're hunting you. You don't want us to know where you are. Right. Do I, I flip them over before I drag it out, right? Yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay. So also, uh, on your, if you look on the contracts here, uh, you see that there are rewards. On the first night, you will get uh, if you as a beast kill two sheep or one boar and you will get a, a big ass sword okay and if you use that sword you will be able to deal one extra damage for your next attack but those are kind of guidelines as well on what you should do on your first day before the first night where would i place them right here yeah all right I think we're good. All right, what's next? So you move two steps. Oh, okay, okay, you have moved. I'm gonna put that car over there. 
And what's next is that we as hunters, we get to place where we want to start. And uh, a good idea is to spread out, so I'm just gonna put myself in Gastric Fjord. Okay. I'm gonna put myself over here, I guess. Okay. Alright, and then uh, then we start. And yeah, you start. Itari right. starts? The beast? Itari starts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, so do I flip my movement cards over now? No, no, no. no. Don't ever. Okay. You You've... don't want to. We have to figure those out. You never want to tell us where you. Gotcha. Move. Okay. So you flip those over either when we search our location and you stand on that location that we search on, gotcha. or whenever you attack something. So what are my options? I guess is what I'm asking. Do I play one of the the four cards on the left, or not a mirror ability? Uh, we play one of the four cards we just collected, right? So you want to eat pigs and sheep? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can play some cards. You play one blue, one red, or both one blue and red. One blue, one red. Oh, so I can do both. You can do it both as well. But not the two of the same kind. Right. And does it matter which one I pull out first? Uh, no. Okay. You can do them uh, one at a time if you want to, as well. And it's up to. You don't have to blow all your cards right now. You could do one and then wait, right? Let, let the next person go. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Is that where I place it? Yeah. Sure. All right. Then you can flip it. The attack and gain a beast of talent. All right. So now, do I attack the place that I'm supposed to be standing? Okay. Yes. All right. How do I do that? Um. So you will reveal yourself at that location. So okay. let's say very hypothetically that you're standing here and you attack and you attack that sheep. Uh huh. You reveal yourself. So you move that piece to where you attack. Yeah, because right. sheep then, uh, actually does sheep only has one health, yeah. Exactly. exactly. So you, you kill that sheep. Alright. And then you flip over your movement cards. When I kill that sheep, I move it where? Move it over here if you want to. Where'd it go? Where'd the sheep go? <laughs> Where'd he go? It ran away. He just flew off the... It just flew off... <laughs> can you uh, rewind 15 seconds? It flew off the no, map. No, 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 no. Let's not try to rewind anymore. There's, there's a sheep right here. Okay, good to go. Alright, sorry. I've and never... then uh, what, what happened for is that you... I flip over my over. movements. Alright. Yep. And then we... And I gain a... Them back to you. Beastly talent. And you gain a grudge as well because you kill the sheep. Okay. Do I get to pick which beast of the talent I want, or is it off this top deck? You may pick one of those three that are based one of up these or, or the top deck if you think those are terrible. Hmm. Alright, but y'all know which one I'm taking. Alright, so where do I put this card? In my hand? Alright. Do we flip another one over and replace it? Uh, nope. Nope? Okay. We do that uh, after the night phase. All right. Okay. Um, all right. So... Uh, are you going to play any more cards? Or yeah. are you finished? Are you going to play a blue one or no? Um... So it's let me rewind. It's a good idea to try to move away from there. Sure. Let me uh, ask the question. So I have to move. My, the beast has to move first, and then you guys get to pick where you put your figures. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So I did not know that he was going to be in that Vin Vinervik place. Oh, we're not even supposed to pick where we started yet. 
Yeah, we are supposed to be at her. Yeah, you've already okay. picked. That's what I was trying to figure out. Was I supposed to pick my movement before y'all decided where to go? Exactly. Okay, yeah. good to go. Okay. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now I can pick the third one. Um, I no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass, or move pass. next next person. Okay, that is uh, me. Oh, so do, what? At what order do the hunters go? Does it? We're going clockwise. Okay, we don't get to pick. That's oh. too bad. Um, it's easier to pick in the real life. We're going to try and make it so it's easy to pick. It starts in. Uh, okay, see if I will, if like if I go first, I could just. Yeah. Like yeah, my my character doesn't work if I go second. <laughs> <laughs> right. It, it kind of works. It's not just that good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was a, okay. Well, <laughs> go for it. Uh, okay. I'm just going to run run to you as fast as I can. So I will say rush. And I go here, and then I go there. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to play the animate card. That lets me look at the unused action cards and add one to my hand. Cool, nice. These are the one used, unused. All up. Hmm. Can't you just search instead of <laughs> drawing them up? I'm going to take that one. Then I'm going to put the rest of them back. Yeah. That concludes my turn. Okay. Um, well, I think it would have been a lot better if I went first. <laughs> what is it about your character that you wanted to well, go first? Well, because I have this card that moves him to me. So if I could have ah. moved, and then he, I could have moved him to me, he could have mm. attacked you twice, you know? Oh, or That would have been a quick like, game. <laughs> move, a, move a hunter... Uh, like I can move him on his turn. Like I could have moved him if I could use my thing to do that. I could move him a little closer, and then maybe he could have attacked you too. You know? Okay. But like my main thing is command to move him, and if I move him after he's already used his turn, that's a little less helpful. Gotcha. Right. It's not um, useless, but sure, it's a bit less uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. I thought he kind of win his teams, but. I didn't mm. think that clockwise that it would be uh um okay well uh i will so these are options we can do too right those are those, those you have here oh actually. those are there okay okay yeah um all right, so can I do this? What is what do I gain from this? This you gain one grudge. Okay, so grudge helps me too, huh? Where's the grudge so I can have one over here? Over here, yeah. What did I start with? One? What's this right here? Exactly. I mean, oh, they I contract. We were very fast with the contract before, but uh, the list starts with two grudges, and uh, each hunter starts with uh, one grudge. Okay. So if I use two grudge, I will I will have this ability or uh, we will upgrade during the night phase. Oh, that's the night phase. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So I gained one grudge. Then each hunter in my zone may move one step. I assume my zone is it's the white it's line the here. Line. Oh, okay. So yeah. well, I'm a hunter in my zone, so I'll move one step here. Yeah. Um. And then I'll attack, I guess. But you have already played. Oh, that's a, that was a blue card. Oh, uh -oh. I should have used the red card. Mm -hmm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about the colors of the cards. I was thinking two cards. That's bad. Um, well. Nice red card. Ooh, yeah, that's good. That's good as well. There you are. Okay. Right. That's my turn. Two cards used. 
Ah, uh, man, even that was wrong, huh? Because, no. Well, it, I guess it would have worked out the same the other way, huh? Where's the discard file? Over here. Oh, wasn't zoomed out enough. Now it's Mr. Beast. All Mrs. right. Mrs. Beast. So, Miss Beast. So. Um, what am I? We're still on day one, so I'm not moving again. I'm you can just move playing. If you, want to, if you have the card for it. Right. Okay. So I can play red or blue. I just can't play red, two blues in the same. Like, this is the second turn, okay. so I can play a blue and a red again now. Yeah. Okay. Do I put? Do I have a discard thing for my? Uh, yeah. Or do I just discard? Put them in the same spot. We have, uh, we have the same spot. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So I am choose one action card from the. This no wait that's not the one. Crap. Oops. <laughs> Ignore that. You didn't see that. That's the one. Look at hunter's hand, a hunter's hand, and discard any card of your choice. Uh oh. So how do I grab? Let's see here. You have three cards, so I want to grab your cards, Grim Gear. Do nice. I? I can give them to you over here. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's discard this one. I discard yeah, it, right? That's a good choice. Yep. Just All throw right. it away. All right. And I can play another card, right? Yeah, a red okay. one. A red one. When the ability hunt is used, how do I... Is that my ability or your ability? That's your ability, hunt. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Each, each hunter the, has the hunters? hunt ability. All right. And then I'm going to play. I can't play that one. What is this yellow grudge? How do I. Is that a different type I have to get? It is, it is the same type. It's just that the effect is a bit different. It happens oh. immediately and uh, can only be used. Oh, so I'd like spend a grudge and I'll lose a grudge to use it once. All right, flicker. Yeah, it's still uh, still only during night phase, but yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just I was just asking to see if I had somehow try to collect the yellow grudge before the end of the. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm it says move one step, but I don't actually show you where I'm gonna move. Okay, so you, okay. once again you take a. Uh, mm, gotcha, card. gotcha, gotcha. Why are these flipped over? Yeah, this just signifies where we last saw you. That's all that is. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Bloop. You move two steps. I can? Yeah, because you have killed a sheep. One, one step, step for each hunter. hunter. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, definitely. One step. Sorry. One step for each hunter, settler, and animal that's been killed this yeah. day. So isn't it two steps? Oh, oh no, it's only, there's, only not, a, there's one. not a base one. There's not a base. It's not one yeah. step plus one. It's just one step per. Okay. All right. Exactly. All right. Then it's my turn. Hmm. I'm thinking this card. And we both get to move a step. Yeah. 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 Go. So I play Ever Rise. So do we move at the same time or separate? Uh, I start to move first, and then you will uh, you will move. So, but do if you move and you see him, do I mm. move? Like, do you, you have can... to pick where I move before you know if you see him there? Uh, no. I can move first, and uh, we will see. Have you been there? Or did you move to that location, Mr. Beast? You're asking if that's where I moved. If that's where you moved or where you've been. If it's where you've been, we get a little track marker. If it's where you are, then we get to know where you are. Gotcha. Okay. 
Oh, that was where you are. Okay, but it still only becomes a trail token. Because okay. he hasn't been uh, revealed. So he's still hidden. We only see some tracks. We still here. have to search the location to find you. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, now you can move as well. We can... Oh, well, I mean, I'll move the same yeah. place. Cool. And then. Oh, I still I don't have my hunt card. Hmm. Oh, he took he took it away, huh? Yeah, he took it away. I'm I'm just gonna pass there. Okay. All right. Uh, my turn. I will hunt. All right. Okay, so since so I'm there, are there. Can I take so my. You search my location. Yeah, we know you're there, so we'll put you there now. All right. This goes back. Yep. So I have a. Do I play my? Well, I, okay. I guess I wait till my turn to play my beastly instincts, beastly talents. Uh, I think so. There's some. Mm. There's a couple reactionary ones if you if it's got that mark on it. Yeah. Okay. See, so this if, one if says got that mark on it. It's a reaction. Which mark? Put thing it again. That one. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, since you played hunt, I guess I play this one automatically. Oh, move one step. You can play it automatically, nice. but it looks like it costs a grudge. Is that right? Exactly. It costs a grudge. Okay. Where do I put the so grudges? You and then put them wherever you here. want. The pile will be over here, yeah. Okay. And then I pick where I'm going to go again. Yes. All right. Hmm. That's a nice move, actually. Our leader of us can attack you. Okay. Okay. We don't know where he went. Um, however, do my beastly talents go to have a separate discard pile? Yeah, you can put it over there. Gotcha. Are there one use? He, he doesn't keep it. It's uh, one use, yeah. All right, so my other one. Um, hmm. Now that card is actually not too bad because we yeah. get a bit of information. Sure. Move There's a hunter only two and. Settlers, huh? Why would I want to move a settler? settler? Like, how does that. Well, he's not even really threatening any of them, huh? Um, all right, I will, I will move you, should I move myself or should I move you, you think? Uh, I think I should move myself, right? Because I got a two movement in case I go the wrong way. Oh, you got a two movement also, huh? Yeah. It's, it doesn't really matter, I think. Okay, I will move myself, I'll move up here. Beast, have you been there? Have you been there? Yes. Oh, we played, went the right way. Nice. All right, let's put a little tracking location thing on here. Um, and I don't think I'll move, move Settler. I think you can just stay in town, I guess. Yeah. All right, so that was Command also. Discard. So wait, with the ones with our picture on them, do we still discard them the same way? Uh, yeah, what? they're still kind of discarded the same way. You will be able to pick them up during the night. But they again. still go in the action card? There's not a separate discard? Um, not really, no. I, I usually put them beside my uh, my player mats. That okay. makes it a bit easier to... Uh... That's what I was asking. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, um, I think you're up. It's a beast. OK. 
Okay. And it's my turn now? I thought both of you got a chance to go. Did both of you already go? I, I went second, oh. yeah. You went second. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um... It is now my turn. Let's see here. All right, I think this is what I'm going to do, if I can do it. I'm not sure. So if there's a human player there, do I can I kill the sheep, or do I attack so, and automatically uh, attack him first? Look at the card. You have to be on uh, that habitat symbol to play it. That habitat symbol. Gotcha. You have to be Understood. on a game. Understood. But there's no. That's the only reason oh. I went this way because the caves are this way. I figured you're going to them. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. All right. All right, boom. Ooh. All right, and then I put my movement. Oh, I guess I gotta take back the old one. No, just the other one is still there. The other one's still there? Okay. Because we technically haven't found you yet. Gotcha. All right. Also gain a beastly talent. Oh, gain a beastly talent. All right. Uh... All right. Okay. Are you done? Talking to me, the beast? The beast, yes. Uh, oh, I can, that's right, I can't play another card, can I? Um, be able to play a red one as well. Yeah. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have what discarded that do? one. I discarded it. Yeah, it was a red one. Or, uh, yeah. I shouldn't have put it away yet. Just to keep things. All right. Um... Oh, there's paths. Okay, so I can't go through the trees. I see. I see. It cost a grudge to use that one. All right. Oh, we spread them. Trying to get away. Lost one grudge. No and let's put that over here. Boom. How do I... Never mind. Um... So... I see. Oh, 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 oh. Took the whole deck. All right. All right. That's my second card. So I played a red and a blue. All right. Okay. So he has one of each direction, right? And we know he is north here. Yeah. So he's probably... He's, he, he, do you think he went like 
left and down and maybe no movement or you think he's back at your location because hmm. we know he didn't go up anymore right he might have gone here and then no movement but then he'd still have to go down to have played that many cards why don't you use the watch the tower as well so uh there are two things we should i think you should mention is that whenever he moves over a settler Settler will notice that, and the trail will appear over that. Thing. Oh, did you move over the settler? Yeah, I guess he'll notice if you did. I don't think I did. Okay. Well, because yeah. it, it would it would have been he's just it, a beeple. He won't tell us, so we're asking. <laughs> well, like would would uh would it automatically show it, or would I have to announce it? It won't I'm, it, automatically show it. It will automatically, it. yeah. It will automatically. Okay, gotcha. No, it won't automatically. Won't. It's not part it of the will. mod. Gotcha. It gotcha. will. It will. Okay, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I, I misunderstood you. It won't automatically, programmatically. <laughs> no. The beast but, has yeah. to. But the beast has to say, "Hey, this this should yes. be deep. The meeple exactly. should meet. Yes. The meeple should meet. Yeah. Meet meet." Okay. Yeah. All right. I think my turn is over then. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you so didn't do picking. that, so he, he didn't he didn't pass yeah. that. Okay. So he must yes. have gone left, and then he then only I, has he south. Have gone, uh, no, no, he doesn't north. have a, does he doesn't have another north, right? He started here and went north. Is yeah, there I have very tons very of many, north? Uh, I have t I have yes, ten of each. No, no, I thought there was one cards. when he when he showed us when he showed us the cards. He only he showed one of each direction and no movement. Okay. I didn't know he had multiple. Okay. Yes, a well, of each. That changes it then. <laughs> Changes my whole um, strategy. But he didn't go this way. Yeah. So. And he probably didn't go back to me because if he goes over me, another trail appears. Um. Well, okay. why don't you? If you use track, there's you know there's one here, right? So you can go yeah. here and then track again to the left or the up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I will try that. And maybe if you go yeah. left, you can use your watchtower, and that'll cover more area. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really great idea. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. So are there any tracks over there? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. so you got is... an extra movement. We just went up to one more. Uh, no, until you... Oh, okay. So there's another one there. I think it's uh, the one you had prowl. You keep moving until there's no tracks. I see, I see. Now I'll play the game this cleaver. You don't want to take your other movement? I uh, I took both of them. Oh, you took both of them. Oh, right. One uh, yeah. up to one other. So, right. Got it. Exactly. So I place a watchtower over here. And as long as I am on the same location as the watchtower, I will be able to see all nearby trails, if there are any. Gotcha. So I place one more track where... Okay. Oh, he's All running. Right. Oh, and he wanted to go to the cave, but he couldn't go through the woods. That's what he was talking about. Uh, I see. Okay, okay. So we know he's mm -hmm. here or here. <laughs> Probably mm. here. Mm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. And did you put the... Uh, don't, isn't there something to signify? Oh, I, he, it's just parallel to me, so it looked invisible. Got it. <laughs> um, okay, so that's yours. Yeah. Yep. I can't catch him. I don't have enough movement. Oh, well, I do, actually. I can use track and then dash. But if I can't attack him, maybe what's the point? I, I guess I want to stay, stay close to him, huh? So I'll use track. First, and then. Ooh, oh, I'm just just thinking a bit. That what? one is pretty good right now as well. Oh, because we need our hunt cards back, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Let's do that. Let's both get our. Um, but we haven't been hit, so we don't really get the health out of it. You will actually lose one health. You see. Oh, that it costs yeah. a health. <laughs> it costs a health, and that is oh. actually a bit risky right now. If I think about it, you are one of the most squishy, squishiest hunters. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. I'll live dangerously. <laughs> so you also he... like to live dangerously. <laughs> okay, Here we go. We got... And then... Wait, each nearby hunter. Okay. 
Is it from the discard pile? Oh, so it's any of them, huh? It's the ability cards only. Oh, it's the ability cards. If, if you're if you're playing as a beast, you won't be able to pick any of them. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take my hunt card. Um. And so this this signifies I've been hurt, huh? Okay, mm. good. Um. And uh, I guess I'll dash. I want to start. I want to start moving. Oh, actually. I can't command. That's only a... Okay. I will... I will dash. Okay. Uh, All right. that's, that's my two. Alright. It is now Monster's turn. Uh, AFK, one second. Sure. Yep. Quick bathroom break. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back too. Give me thirty yeah. seconds. I'm grabbing a drink. Hello. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back as well. We had a quick uh, bathroom break. I think oh. uh, Living or Bad Kerning was uh, going to grab him some drink. Um, curious, does it make All it, right. the more uh, players there are, does it make it harder or easier for the beast? Like, does the beast get um, extra stuff for having extra players against him? It's actually quite balanced. Okay. Um, it can it can be more uh, intimidating to go against three hunters. Mm -hmm. But the beast also gets, or which side you prefer to say it on. Uh, Another settler will appear on that location. Ah. That the, the hunters must be able to protect all gotcha. three locations, which can be quite hard. Gotcha. Okay, and it's the beast turn right now, correct? Um, hmm, I think so. Yes, all right. So... Yep. Achievement unlocked, restraint. Okay. Um... <laughs> That's a red. I can't do both. Are settlements only this? Yeah. Okay. When you when you put that down, this... did that change that to a settlement? Oh yes, it does. That's good that you noticed. We actually have another 
a little mini camp here okay. with a sheep. And that counts as a settler. Okay. It doesn't count as a settler, it's a settlement. Settlement. The sheep is still as just sheep. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Um, we didn't enlist the sheep into the militia. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole. <laughs> All right, so what's a, it keeps t mentioning banshees, and I haven't seen any banshees on the on the board yet. You gotta summon one, man. Cool. You gotta I have summon to summon one. one. Yeah. How do I do that? It's with a, the hand claw icon. A claw it's icon. Like this. Gotcha. So I didn't pick any of those cards. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, so. All right, no no banshees to worry about. Damn it, I can't do that one and that one. All right, so blam, I'm gonna do that, and I guess that sh that Ooh. shows. So now I move my beast to where I, I am. Again. Oh, you found him. All right, so that feeds attack. If you killed your victim, place a banshee on your location. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, I get the sheep. So now I have two sheep. I feel like I'm playing Settlers of Catan. All right, uh, and mm. a banshee shows up. Where? What's the banshee icon? Over here. Ding it one more time. Uh, oh, that one. Gotcha. Gotcha. And you get another grudge for killing another sheep? Is that right? Oh, I do? Right. Cool. Yeah, see, the, you, you get grudges okay. for whatever they are right here. Gotcha. Boom. All right. And I can play a blue card now. Mm -hmm. Man, how many cards this guy got? I feel like he's got more than us. <laughs> Ooh. So whenever a banshee takes action, it can either move one step, it can attack, and it also has a special ability called lure. It can move each nearby unsuspecting animal to its location. Oh. So if okay. you would do it over there, then you would draw to drag Valia, the sheep, and that settler. Wait, location. nearby? I thought it was nearby. I thought it was connected. It is connected. Oh, but it's two spots away. I thought it's. It... Uh, but you're standing here, and it's online away. Oh, if he does it right now, is what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Let's... Yeah, do it right now. All right. Hold on one second. Move one step, right now. and a oh, banshee may on... take action. I want to. Oh, you get to move one step. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Man, oh shit! To catch. That's sorry. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, he wants to move left, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fucked that up. Uh... Yeah, and all of these are going back here. Yeah. Well, it's not like you can. No, like there's a lot of directions you can go there without us knowing. That is true. He's got the watchtower here, so we know any here or here if we go. Um. Yeah. Okay. So if I go, and the, the settler will tell us here. So that's the only hidden movement you could make anyway. Right. But the, since there's only but there's if I only go movement, it's not hidden anymore. Right. Um, you so... can uh, you can do the banshee action first. Okay. In that case, you will drag that scepter here, and then you can move down to the city if you want to. Would it do every everybody? It would do the sheep, him, or is it just one? Yeah. It would just pick one. All of them. Oh, all Each of them. them. Okay. Yeah. A super powerful drag force. But what would be the benefit of doing that just to get everything in one spot and if i had, if i had a, a fed right once there by myself once the settler's there you have two potential spots you could go to and now it's actually a mystery where you went 
Uh, because okay. if you go here, we'll see from the watchtower. Here, we'll see from the watchtower. Here, we'll see from the settler. So we know if we don't see you, we know where you are. So right now, you have no hidden movement. But then if you do that, then it's like a 50-50 shot for us. Gotcha. Okay, so let's let's say I do that. All right, so I'm going to use the banshee thing to lure, explain, lure. Move each nearby hunter, settler, and animal to this location. All right, so let's do mm -hmm. that. Bam. All right. And now I can decide where I'm going to go. If I went to the settlement. Oh, no, because he fed, so we, these are all discarded, huh? So if I go to the settlement, I can't do anything there because there's no settlers there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm farting with Aya and the Banshee right now. And the monster doesn't necessarily have to be the one that kills the settlers. The Banshee can kill the settlers. Yeah. Okay. Um, you won't get any grudges from killing with a Banshee, but you will get the point for it. Gotcha. Ah, keep moving this we'll move instead of putting we'll my move. actions. I'm thinking too much. Uh, he looked like he was that? pulling it down. He looked like he wanted to go south, and now he's thinking to throw us off. <laughs> or did I only south. want you to think that? <laughs> That's <what I> <laughs> There's eight cards. Ah, stop. You only have two cards left, huh? No, but it, it. There we go. There we go. All right. So I moved them, and then the the banshee did a lure. So everything got there now. So that was its action then. Was the banshee's yeah. action? Okay. All right. All right. I think that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it's my turn, and I will play a bet, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. That's the way to go. Because if he's so not I there... teleport myself. Oh, also, cast. you didn't go here or here, right? Because we'll get a track marker if you did. Correct. Okay, okay. So just making sure. Okay, so I teleport myself to get the cure. You been here? <laughs> I have not been there. Ooh, okay. Okay, we know where he is. Sneaky. Problem is I want to get the hunter item. Hmm, I don't know what the item is. Okay. Show it to show it to show it to you. Okay. Whenever a trail appears on the on the settler, I I can move him. Gotcha. Huh. Interesting. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to pass there. Okay. So my problem now is I have two blue cards. Yeah. Um, if, should I attack and kill the Banshee? How much health does a Banshee have? It only has one health. That is uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you know... I just we know where he is, right? So it doesn't really, it doesn't help me to find him and not be able to do anything about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt and I'm gonna kill this banshee. Bye bye, Mr. Banshee. Oh, I barely got to know you. <laughs> um Alright, pass from there. Alright, now it's the beast's turn. Mm -hmm. So if, if, um, is it considered a pass if I only play a blue card and then pass? Or no, it has to be no cards as a pass. Yeah, exactly. So, sorry, you said yeah, exactly, but I gave two options. The second <laughs> one? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you pass when you don't play anything. Okay, it's no cards yeah. as a pass, got it. Yeah. Okay. So Choose been, one action card here. from the discard pile. Alright, what's an easy way to look at all the cards without having to... There's uh, a very little small text. No, just, just, just right click and go to search. Search. And you can you can see all of them and just hold alt and you'll see big versions of them as you mouse over. Thank you. 
that's super helpful. So that was, hold on, crap. That was a red card. All right. Search, and then hit Alt. So those are basically the same. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, oh, thank God. All right. So uh -oh. how do I how do I pick this? All right. Ah. Which one was it? All right. So uh, now I take it and put it in my deck. It won't let me do that. Oh, there we go. Well, if anybody else is looking at the drop by, it won't let you steal from it. I think. Gotcha. All right. Mm. Do we get to do we get to see which one it was? I'm going to reveal it. It's pursuit. Oh, y'all get to see it. Yep. Okay. Oh man, he gets another beastly talent. Jeez, how many talents does he need? <laughs> these are cards the you use. These are cards you used, right? Correct. No, those I just have ability cards. Ooh, that one was action. That yeah, one, this one you guys just discard. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now I can play another blue card. Which uh, let's just pile these. So it doesn't look like he's got all these actions up. Yeah. I was okay. You uh, can't play a uh, blue one right. Those already, right? Yeah, but I was just trying to remember. Yeah. It's red, red. Okay. Oh, okay. You want to remember what they were. All right. Now. So now I'm playing this one. Gain a beastly talent and move one step. Or I can draw from the talent pool. It cost me a. Okay. All right, so I gain a beastly talent, and I get to decide to go. Shoot, I got to remember where I'm where I'm actually at. <laughs> You're right here. Yeah, oh yeah, you there. guys know where I'm at. <laughs> we checked everywhere else. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. So when I summon a Banshee, is it always where I'm standing? When you summon, you summon up to two locations from you. Up to two locations and from it, me. And it okay. can only be placed on a K symbol as well. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me move. All right. I've done my two. All right, all right, all right. Where do we do we think he's at? Here, Here. maybe. Yeah. And I can't go over there, but I will try. I will haste myself. So I go here, and then I go here. All right. Then I put a tracker symbol there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you weren't here, right? Yeah, that's that's where I'm putting it. Yep. Okay. All right. Then uh, I can't do anything else. You might click no movement. You could search your location and attack. I don't know if you want to. Mm, no. 
I, th- I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm going to flee the next turn. Okay. All right, my turn? Yep. All right. Um, search. All right, I'm going to do, I'm doing track, and I'm going here. I'll get another movement, and I'll go up. Were you up there? Yep. Oh, he's up there. Ooh. I'm so predictable. <laughs> Y'all did good to place in the uh, the tower where you've tapped placed it. It made it really hard for me to go any other direction. Now since uh, no one is in it, it no trade up tokens will appear. Yeah, it's it's oh. not. Um, it it only worked while he was in it, and yeah, oh. he just got out of it, so it was working. But now it's gotcha. Not. That makes sense. Only, only a man tower works. Okay. All right, so we know where he is. Um, that's it. I'm done. My turn. Yeah. All right, it's back to the beast turn. All right. So if I play this one, I'm summoning yeah. a Banshee, correct? And I can summon it up to two spaces away from where I'm at? Yeah. But it has to be... You have to place it on a, a cave habitat. On a what? A cave habitat. The a one cave? With, uh, this world. Oh. There. So could I place, so could I place one there? Gonna go here, or if you move first, it could potentially go there. Yeah, that's great. Gotcha. Oops. Um. Move one. Oh, I have to move one step first. <laughs> Technically, it's I can do it. And order. Yeah. All right. You summon first and move. Then I draw one of these banshees. Bloop. Okay. All right. All right. Is it uh, my turn? Mm-hmm. And I am going to use the discard thing to flee. I will discard my. <laughs> I'm a bit aggressive. What happened? <laughs> Banshee's over here. Sheep is over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so you're using your hunt card to flee? Exactly. Just to get a bit closer. You can you discard this card or no? I, I think I want to keep it. Okay. One of those, uh, but if you did cards. this card, then couldn't you kill this banshee he just made? Hmm. I'm also thinking we are at the end of the this phase. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I might I, be able to kill him next phase. I don't know how important it is killing the banshees or not. That's why I'm asking if, if you want to do that. That be quite good, but I think I want to keep this card a bit longer. And you will pass? I will pass. Yeah. I'm guessing. Please. I'm guessing. Oh, he's got one card left, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is an action card, right? I'm going to put it in the action card discard pile for you. Thank you. Yep. You use right. this as well, right? Yep. Anything that's that. another discard pile for you. All right. I'm moving another step. Or you may move to a banshee and reveal. Just put your token where you're going, so we know. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I'm learning, all right? (laughs) Okay. Okay. All right, I I have moved. Okay. All right, so... I'm going to pass. Pass. Everyone passes. Everyone passes. We finally reached the first night. 
Then we have the night phase. The first thing, the first thing we're going to do is check the contract rewards. All right. And the beast has uh, killed uh, two sheep. So you gain one uh, reward. Awesome. Nice. Very dangerous. And uh, we, as hunters, we gain one grudge east each, and we may move one step. Because why? Because I did complete that. Yes, we we also no, have our. We oh no, dead! Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll. Uh, which way are you gonna go? What do you think? Mm. I think you can teleport to settlements, right? So you should go left. Um. So you think, uh, I think I'm going north. <laughs> but it, we might see a trade token, and then you can just go after me as well. Did you get a... Did, did you get, is there a token here? No. No. No? What? Okay. Right. Fix me. I'm going to go this way. There is a token there. There is All a token. Right. Right, and then we move on to number two. Discard all action cards and reset base of these talent items. Um, no action cards left in the hands. I'm just trying to. Yeah. And then we move on to. Yeah, we return all discarded ability cards as well. For all our after abilities and these abilities. Good. So what does okay. the sword get me that I that I earned? Oh, for an attack, you can discard it to do two damage instead of one. Ah. Which is what I need you to may... attack a settler. A settler has yeah. two health. Or a hunter. I have three health and I already spent one of it. So. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, okay, and then uh, you understand that, you're, that there's only two there's there's only two days, right? There's or technically tonight. a third night. It there's looks there's like. a third day, but only two nights. Correct. Okay. So when we reach the third night, we end the game. I see. I see. Oh man, this is taking a while. Um, okay, so on night. We did. We're going to upgrade now by spending our bridges. Okay. So if I um, spend the grudge, I'll have my person's other ability. Exactly. You can have buy that one if you want to. Okay. So how do I tell that I bought that one? You take one of these upgrade tokens. Ah. Okay. Yes. Bloop. Tiny little upgrade token. I can still use the. I can still do this at any time, or what? Do I need to spend? Um. If you if you just to go with that one, and it would do that. Okay, is that just a, what does yellow mean? I can use it as my red or my blue action. It happens immediately. All uh, the red, uh, the more those ones are passive, and they just to have them throughout the game. While the yellow so I don't, ones... need, I don't need to upgrade this now, I mean, is what, I, what I'm asking. Yeah. I always have this if I want to spend the grudge. Mm. Okay. Good enough. Um, then we have remove all wounds from settlers and animals. Revive dead hunters at any settlement. Okay. And then, Mr. Beast, are you going to upgrade anything? I can upgrade stuff? Oh. Yep. Gotcha. All of these. Uh, oh, all of these. I see. So yeah, the the yellow. Hard. What is the? What what do it you mean? Immediately. Yeah, but how do you? He I I, I heard what you were telling him. Uh, yeah. I spend they one. Cost, uh, on a normal grudge. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I can use that at any time, but right now I'm going to. You can't use them at any time, only during the upgrade phase. 
or who, if you have a card that you upgrade. Wait, oh. I'm sorry. Like, I'm. That's what I'm asking, Asar. So he can only do these now during the upgrade phase. Yes, exactly. Yes, I'm sorry. Gotcha. So I can do mine at any time or right now. So you, you can only do it right now as well. Oh, okay. That's what I was asking. So I should. I might as well do this, right? Uh, if you think it's wise, yeah. What else am I gonna spend the grudge on? You can spend it on uh, uh, traps later. Not right now, oh, so we can okay. save it. You can only do that once as well, so you won't be able to use it the second night. We might need it later. Let's see. But if I do this, right, I can just I can start moving the. It's all hunters and settlers, right? So he has to kill two settlers to win. So I can just start moving settlers away from him since we know he's in like this corner of the board. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend it and do that then. Uh, I'm gonna move. I can move all hunters, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna move you first, I guess, right here. Or do you yeah. want me to move you back down to the banshee so you can kill it if um... you need to? Yeah, sure. That's good. Uh, here, I'll go here first, because then we'll know if he's there. Okay, he is there. Okay, okay. Mm, nice. In that case, I think... Um, what do you think? Do you, should you stand there? Because he'll have to go by you? Mm, he, he always starts. Maybe he can use uh, the lure with a banshee and drag me away from there. Hmm. But also, if we move, if we move my my token here, then we won't know which direction he runs to. It's so hard. maybe I should almost move you here, right? Yeah, maybe actually, yeah. Because then, because then we we know if he goes if he passes that way. Mm. Hmm. I think that's good. Yeah. All right, and I'll move the settlers. I'll move him down into the settlement. I'll move him. What does it help them to be inside the settlement at all, or no? No, no, not really. So then I'm just going to move them farther away. Oh, there's nobody here. Yep. Is there supposed to be one there? We will only be there? Uh, there if we are playing as four players. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll so he's got kind of... three settlers to win, and this one is one, and this one is one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. All right, I think. What's a shadow step? Have I seen a shadow step yet? Is that one of the cards that I've seen? Yeah, that's the top one right there. Yeah, Already. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a move to your yeah, banshee yeah. and reveal, I think. Yeah, it was the one that was uh, you, you've already. You, you you take them back to your hand now during the night phase. Oh, I take them back. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, your your, your oh. personal card, not the action Changes cards, my whole the strategy. All right, so both of these. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Oh, so that makes it a lot easier to figure out what my talents are. After you play Shadow Step, transform each nearby location. What do you? What does transform mean? As four means that uh, it will transform each nearby location. Let's say that you stand there and use it. And each nearby location will become a cave habitat. Oh. Including the settlements. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use... Are you going to drop before... Uh, or are you going... Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to upgrade myself. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to play that one now. I can only play it once. I can't play it the second night. Yeah. So I'm going to restore one health, which I don't really need to, and move to the center of the map, then reveal. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So... Okay, you can do that any time. Okay, got it. I'm assuming that's the center of the map. Yep. Okay. I'm glad I moved you that way, I guess. Um, do I want to do that? It's pretty I need good the... if you're cornered. 
Yeah, because I need the, but I do need the bear to get my second night reward. Um. I would have to, uh, it's a boar. So it's you mean you it's a boar, a not a bear? Oh, it's a boar. Yeah. I thought it was a bear. What do I get for killing a bear? Nothing? You get a little bit. Uh, you get the three grudges. Three grudges. Ooh. They're, they're, it's kind of risky being in a corner. Yeah. Uh, I see. More grudges. Gotcha. And moving over settlers doesn't make you place trails or after shadow step reveal transform nearby locations. All right. So how do I mark? Oh, that's, I see. I see. I see. That's what this is for. Boop. I'm going to put it on that one. All right. So now we want to know if you are a settler. There we go. All right. I am done. All right. And we move over to this one. He does. Two. He can only do it once, or he yeah, can keep, exactly. he can do that next night too, right? Or oh, no? only this night. Yeah. Hmm. That's it. So uh, now we draw four new action cards. We start the dropping again. Okay. One. I will keep this one. Well, I've given him that stuff, but. Okay, I can't afford to do that again, so. Hmm, these are tough. How many swords are in the game? Available? Yeah, unlimited. Unlimited? Okay. You, hey, you, you didn't. Oh, uh, you haven't picked one yet? Okay. There's your three when you have. Up there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to drag uh -oh. over to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to cheat. That's right. <laughs> Come on now. It's not going in my square. There we go. Can't drag more than one at a time. That's so weird. Hmm. You can't. You can't keep giving me these. You gotta take some of them. <laughs> This one I have to keep. Nice, thank you. Okay. And you start, Mr. Beast. I start, Mr. Beast. Is that guy famous or something? Mr. Oh, Beast. He's a bit famous. He's at least in a lot of ads for honey. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know true, about true. It. <laughs> How many times can I can I use a sword in a turn? You Only use it once. once and it's gone. Yeah, but if I have multiple swords, can I use both in one turn? Yeah, multiple swords. You can use all of them. Yeah. In the same attack. Yep. They can really oh, charge can do up like until... a five damage attack. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can shit. go all Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. <laughs> Unused. Where are the unused action cards right now? Oh, yeah. those that stack. Okay. In, the, in this unused yeah. action card stack. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> Move. He's moving. He's moving. All right. Where are 
these settlers. They're over there, over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to play that one. Wait, can I play that one? Yes, I can play that one. Gain a beastly talent and a sword. So there's another sword. And a beastly talent. You're basically a big bat with two swords in her hands. I've been, know. yeah. <laughs> She's a dual wielding bat. Return an ability from the discard pile to your hand. So these are these, wait, Sprint. these are your old movements, right? When you were yeah. revealed, didn't you put them back? You're absolutely yeah, right. That's true. I thought you get talent. Oh, you're playing that. Okay. All right. So let me. Uh... Oh, and then all the trails disappear as well. Okay. And that was a red. So now I can blue. So I can't um, go near him right now. It's kind of, if you want to kill him, you got to, but I can't, um, he'll, he'll murder me, right? He's got the two swords. Yep. All right. And then I'm going to play a blue one. So this means summon. And I can summon in any of these up to two spaces away, right? Yes. Well, not this one. Not that, that, one. that was not as well. That That's one as well. Okay, yeah. and it's and it's two spaces. Wait, away. Up, to, up to two spaces away from where you are. He he didn't get to move at the start of the day. Has that never? Oh, we have to move, right? Okay, yeah. Then uh, then it's just that one. Oh, that he doesn't. One that one. He doesn't. He doesn't move at the start of the day. That's only at the first game, or what? Yeah, only at the first day. Okay, so we yeah, know where he is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right, well, Look, I'm, I'm going gonna play, to... I'm going to play this, so that'll get us closer. Well, hold on. If you want, if you want to play this after. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what you, I don't know what you do before, but I'm just saying. No, I'm just, maybe, I'm don't, just like, maybe don't waste all your movement when, when I use this one, right? Yeah. You might be moving That's what I mean. towards that city, so I might just like try and run. Uh, I'm just... Stuck in this, is, this, is gonna, this is gonna move you like 10 spots, right? You might as well save the yeah. other stuff. Yeah. All right, so I summoned a Banshee. And what else? And then look at the unused action cards and add one to your too hand. too far away? Yeah, it's a little bit too far away. You have to move first if you want to do that one. Oh, that, that's why I was asking if that if that two spaces. That's one. Oh, I, I, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, I was looking diagonally, not not uh, through the paths. Okay, that doesn't change much on my strategy. All right, and then I get to draw one of these unused cards. There's really not that many. Alright. I'm going to. You guys can see this card that I'm going to pick, right? Ooh. I think you're going to kill something. Alright. And I think that's my turn. Alright, so. Okay, he added an action card. Okay, and we got a banshee to worry about. Okay, I don't know what you do on your turn. I don't really know <laughs> either. Mm. It's whatever I do, I will. It will be a waste, more or less. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you can pass, right? I can't pass because uh, I can only pass if I have the play with the fewest or least amount of action cards in my hand. And uh, the beast has three action cards. Yeah, Sinistar, I'm enjoying it so far. I am enjoying it. I think this is a pretty damn badass oh. game. Uh, I mean, it won't help us there, but you can make that to power that up. Oh, true. Yeah, I, I think that's that's the way to go. I play Queen Gaze Cleaver and I build a nice watchtower here with the sheep. And uh, yeah, I think it's my turn. You can get it back. Um, okay, my turn. I'm going to adapt. Move to any settlement and gain an item. Any settlement or settler? Settlement. Settlement. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I will gain an item. What do you think? I almost think you should uh, take the top card. The oh, you can take yeah. top? Yeah. Yep, that is a pretty good card. <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll help. Which one did you get? Uh, oh, I can't see it. I, I drew, I drew, so it's secret. Mm, okay. Um, okay, that was that. I have the red movement. Um, so was my when I drew from the unused action pile? Was that supposed to be secret as well? No. No. Okay. Do you, if you draw from the top card of the Beast of Talents or Hunter items, then it, it will be secret. Gotcha. Otherwise, we can see exactly what kind of card you have in. Should I, I have to figure out your plans? Should I waste that now, or should I just do this for that next turn? Because I'll get an item. Mm. But how do I use my items if I don't have Grudge? How do I get Grudge at this point? Uh, I have one card. This one. I guess that's, I will that's, use how, this. that's how you gain grudge. How do I gain grudge? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, well, I get grudge from there. Um, I guess uh, if you have that card, but you don't. <laughs> Wait, how How are all these cost grudge to use, but none of the cards that I could have drafted give me grudge? This one can give. If you had this card, you would have grudges. But you don't. There are other cards as well that give you give you grudges. Oh really? Well, Whoa, I didn't get any of them, so this card doesn't really help at all, does uh, it? That's a bit too bad. But this might be for the second night. Hmm. Wait, how can oh, this that's not done? good. That's kind of doesn't really help to get an item that I cannot use. Um. All right, I'll pass from there. I feel like I'm missing a card. What did I, I just click something? Something was floating. Is this the one? Did I just use this card right here? Yeah, you ah, did. Okay. Yeah. You got to play a game of sword, right? Yeah. Yes. There's only three there, and this is two used, used, and the one I used. All right. All right. All right. Good to go. All right. So you're done with your turn, and you move to the Vintervik. Yep. All right. Now, how does how do the Banshees move? With the, card? the benches, with a claw card. With a claw card. So I can either summon one or move them? Yeah, so you either summon them or take an action with them. The action is either you move them one step, they attack, or they perform the special action. So with the claw card, they get... They get either a summon or a movement gotcha all right um so this banshee if he lures will this settler right here move as well no it's only nearby that's, that's only nearby away. gotcha okay Uh, 
Um, I have a card that has a summon, comma, then move two steps. Is that for the the monster to move two steps or the banshee to move two steps? I think it's for the beast. The monster. The beast. Okay. Reach hunter in your zone. Is this zone in the same? Is that the same? This is all one zone, right? This yeah. whole area over here is just one big zone. Yeah, there's only two zones. There's only two zones. Gotcha. And they're okay. divided by this white line. Exactly. And this uh, this uh, middle beast and this is uh, in both zones. Oh, so do I? Since I'm, if I play that card right now, I would get to move two additional places. Or is it only you move are, one space uh, and then uh, you get yeah. to move two for each additional hunter in your zone? So, like, let, let's say... Did you show us the card? Do, 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 do. Uh, move one step, then move additional step for each hunter in your zone. Does the yeah, additional step that. count now or count after oh. I've moved one space? It's it's off to yeah. Then move one additional, so it would not. I would yeah. only get one additional movement. Gotcha. Yeah, two movement total. Hmm. I'm sorry, this one's taking me a while. There's a blue. Okay. Um, all right. All right. So that's a. Um, Move one step, and a banshee may take action. So the banshee can move, or lure, or attack, attack well. or attack. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, thanks for the raid, White Sith male. Much appreciated. All right, so but you guys can tell where the banshee is moving. Okay. can't get it to stand up. <laughs> All right. So move one step and the Banshee may take action. All right. That has happened. And now I can do one more if I want. Um, move one step, then an additional step for his hunter or summon. Oh, that's a blue one. I need a red one. All right. Boom. Move two steps. Okay. Getting some background stuff from your mic there, so. Yeah. I can try to lower my input volume a bit. Uh, or make it higher. All Is right. it better now? I've dashed. I'm not hearing anything now. Yeah, much better. Oh, hello. I have dashed, and that is my two movement, or my two cards. Boom. Your two movement? OK, where'd you move? <laughs> okay. You ain't going to get me again. <laughs> a fourth time. Maybe the second or third, but not the fourth. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to play the Hidden Passage. I'm going to teleport myself. Away, Thank you so away, much for the raid yeah. there, Whites at the Mail. Greatly appreciated. Howdy, um, howdy, howdy, um, howdy, howdy, howdy. PJ and CC. Probably going to play Insight. I gain one grudge. Each hunter in my zone may move one step. All right. So 
I am down is safer. Yep. Right, because he moved two from here, so he's like here. He's somewhere within this range right here. I'm forward to moving to you as well. Okay. And now it's your turn, Baya. Okay. My turn. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, pursuit. I'm going to gain an item and attack a nearby summon. Uh, hopefully this item doesn't cost a grudge. It seems like they all do. So I'm just going to take the new one now. Oh, hey. That's something. Um, and I'll attack a nearby summon. And I'll attack the Banshee. Alright. Banshee is now dead. Um, and then for my second card, which will be red. I don't know, should I, should I? It's three steps away from here. I think he might be going for that. Hitler. But we can't, what if we, if we go that far, then he'll go, he'll, oh no, this one's up here, huh? Yeah. Oh, when, uh, so since I had two Banshees, was each Banshee supposed to get a movement? Or get an action there? When I a played Banshee. that last card? A Banshee. Banshee. A Banshee. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright. I'm going to... I'll play Command. Um, I'm going to move this guy up. I'm going to move you down. Do you want to go down or what? Yeah, sure. Down. Okay. Is, the, is there a mark there? There is not a mark there. Ooh, okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to go sideways then. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. But I could have put you in range for a track to actually work out for you. Um, I think if he didn't go there and we think he's after this one because we were guarding the other one yeah then maybe he is huh. I don't know um, okay so that was my th my two command will go right there and pursuit so you're up. All right. Let's see here. All right, I'm playing. Avarice and attacking. So that means I reveal. Attacking. Uh oh. Where are you attacking? Wait, how'd you get all the way over there? Uh, one, two, three. <clears throat> all right, all right. Nice. All right. I guess so... you used one of your swords then as well. Did I? Do I have to? You don't have to, but otherwise you won't kill him. Uh, he's got two health. Oh, um, gotcha. Okay. Another attack on him. Gotcha. So right now I'm only doing one damage. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yep, I'll use the sword to kill him. So now he did. So that the sword does an additional damage, not two. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it does one additional damage. So that's two damage. So now I have a settler. I have killed a settler. Um, and, and then, gain and I gain two a, grudges. Two grudges? Oh, and an additional grudge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so gotcha. 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 All right. And now I can do something else. See, that was a red. 
So does that does that count as a uh, track there or no? Yeah, it doesn't because uh, oh, it's fine. It's of uh, that ability. Oh, so these are useless. Yeah, for Mara, it is pretty bad right now. <laughs> What's that? Mara, it is pretty bad right now. It's... I see. Hmm. Okay. I still have one more knight, so I don't have to go crazy this turn, but... Okay. Um... How... To kill a bear, it has two health. Or only has one health, and I get gain two health. two health. It has two health. Gosh, yep. but then I would gain three grudges, or yep. a boar has two health. Gotcha. A sheep has one health, understood. But I gain one grudge. All right, so that was a red. I need a blue. But I don't gain the grudges if the... Um, Banshee kills it. I only get yeah. the... So there's really no point in that. Okay. There's really no point in that. That was a red. No. I think this is what I'm going to do. Summon, then move two steps. So I summon wherever within two. So is that a place I can summon? Because that's within two. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can summon there. That's summon it. One, two, one, two. Gotcha. All right. Let's, there's only two banshees I can have at the board at this time. Let's put him there. Okay. And I think that's my turn, and I'm going to run in the restroom real quick. Okay. Mm, Thank you, CC. I'm going to discard him. Okay. All right. So... I'm going to use my haste. Yeah, yeah, that seems right. Go here. And... I'm a bit unsure if I should use the truck back so as well. Will, will, will there be one in this location or no? There is kind of one. It's the, that one. I'm asking if it, will, if it will account yeah, for it. It will not. Well then, who cares, you know? <laughs> um, I mean, then just discard to flee that way? I discard if it's my only action. What? Uh, I can only discard or use the free action as the single, or you say, I can play any other actions I want to flee. Oh, jeez. I think I'm going to stop here, actually. Start dealings? Oh, no, you already hasted. Hmm. Oh, dang it. That's true. All right, that's it for you, I guess? Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. Did you already take I your just moves? ran out of epic bomb and charge over here. Okay. And I needed to risk. I was biased. Turn. Okay. What should I do? Nope.
Don't flip the table. Up to oh. Talon. He has feet, figure, and shadow step around. You move quite a bit. Maybe you could kill that banshee over there. Yeah, do I really want to use both my I can't. Uh, I can't use no. that and that, huh? Yeah. And you will still be able to move a bit closer to the beast. Yeah. No, I'll move farther away. Right? You move. If oh, I go to okay, the, okay, if okay. I go to this, does it does it is it manned? It counts for me. Not for you. What's that? That's correct. You can stand in the tower as well. Yeah, should I just do that? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think it's good. I'd be going over here, but yeah, he likes them bears. I like them bears. Talked about a lot. Well, I'll move. I'll move <laughs> hard too. Yeah. I rush. I mean. Okay. Any uh um, Alright, so now since you're any stuff here? Well I'm still here. I haven't I haven't oh, done I any thought, movements. I thought you moved again. You have three no. movement spots. Oh. I gotta I gotta put those back every time. Oh god. Because I was because, trying to find I forgot where you were. Because <laughs> when uh when I killed the settler I had to reveal, right? Yeah. Right, but then yeah. you played another card, which I thought was summon and move. I don't think so. so. I didn't Hold on. I, I so I, I thought well, oh wait, yeah, you're oh. right. I am supposed to move two steps. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. I am supposed to move two steps. Oh well. Now he knows not to move where I can see it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> My fault, y'all. My fault. Uh. Oh man. God. He was. He didn't go there because he knew you moved. But you were really there. He could have used his stuff and attacked you. Jeez. I was supposed to move. Fuck. I mean, you could technically do two no movements, but it's you need to do you need to pick something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom boop. Boop boop. One two. And wait, you summoned here, right? No, I summoned here. Oh no, that's the that was the last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. No trails. No trails. Okay. All right, it's your turn. My turn again? Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. Hmm. One movement. All right, let me look at these. That's a red. That would actually work. Return an ability from the discard pile to your hand. Whoa. see here all right and then I can play another red all right move in two steps mm -hmm. and transform Alright, and then I place the transform tokens. Uh, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. To each nearby location? Okay, so we know where yep. he is. I think it's pretty he's... obvious. Oh, um, he's all the way up there? Okay. Yeah. All right. I think it's pretty obvious where I'm at. <clears throat> all right. That's fine. Wait, so wait, hold hmm. on. Before I do that, before I do that, so I, even though I have one sword that does one damage, I can't kill the bear, but I can't attack it a second time. It doesn't yeah, move, it only, right? It only heals overnight. Okay. So if you, as long as you attack it twice, you'll get it. Okay. Mm. And just hate him. But actually, so. I can't. This was a stupid move. All right. Uh oh, he got goofed. I will. I will play track. Move here. It's a trade token on your piece. Do another step and then move here. And uh, yeah, that's all I can do right now. Well, okay. you don't, uh... I can't do stats. I I also don't goofed. I don't to play it as your last action card. Wait, why don't you just play it first before this one? Oh, oh it's ability card. Oh gosh. Well, it's sorry. a tutorial game. Tutorial game. Yes, tutorial right, game. So... I've never played this before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of my other cards are useless, right? The animals will heal overnight, is what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You are kind of close to him. Not close enough with all my movement. So you can discard that one and go one step. What he does. Oh, just the flea? It's kind of, it's, yeah, exactly. It's kind of bad right now. this and I'll move one. I think it's good. Okay. Alright, it's now the beast turn. <sighs> There's really no point in me doing this. Okay. I guess that's this is really my only option. Shadow step. I'm going to run all the way over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And now I can move one more red. So I've killed one settler, so I can move one. Okay. So I'm going to take all these movement cards up then, right? Yeah. Because they no longer matter. Come on. Pick them all. There we go. All right. I have moved. Okay. All right. It's my turn. I will discard this and then uh, move one step. I will move here. Okay. So he's moved one from where he was? 
correct. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use charge. Where are you standing right now? Okay. Right here. I'm going here. Uh, I don't Arjun. think that could possibly reveal anything. Uh, so and then I will use track. Just yeah. move down here. Close enough. Yeah. All right. I'm going right, to a beast. feed. Oh, we're pretty close then. All right, and I get one grudge for that. Yeah. One grudge. All right. And a banshee. You have already... a maximum of two banshees. I you can have remove a one of them if you want to. All right. All right. I will discard my dark feelings. Do one step here. Do you think about making these uh, like more meeple tokens or something? Like maybe not for the real game, but for tabletop simulator, it's you know yeah, you, can't really, uh, you can't really see a bird's eye view of. Yeah, I think it uh, that can be a, a good or maybe a flat, have some kind a of flat one. For them. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a uh, valid. Okay, uh, you're done. Uh, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to discard to, to move also. He's, has, he's moved one from here or no? He's there. The last yeah, thing he did was feed. Yeah. So then I move this one back. I'm going this way. Those are two. We don't care if he goes the other way, right? So let's just block. Yeah. Okay. You're up, beast. I have no cards left. Poison left. Mm, can discard this and move one step, but I don't really know where to go. I almost think you just move here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So discard and I here. That's me, but Oh, sorry. I know you can't tell birds I've you. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. So should I keep this or no? Yeah, keep it. It will, I think, it can uh, save us. Maybe. I, I just yep. can't. I can't spend the cost, you know, to play it. Maybe we can. Uh, we can try to fix that in the upcoming drops. All right. So we move over to the knife phase again. Mm-hmm. And we shake the conflict wards. All right. So I get all four of these back, right? You gain two of beastly talents. Well. Reward. To and, uh, we hunters don't get anything. Yep, we didn't do our damage, so. All right, so do I gain two off the top of the deck, or two that I can see, or do we draw first and uh, then? We will reset them uh, at the later stage, so you will. It's either of those. Take from these up or... or the or top. Of the yeah. Deck. Gotcha. Yeah. Two, two total. Gotcha. Well, I'm not going to be able to do anything with my... After you play Shadow Step, transform each location. Banshees may move one step wherever placed. Or Banshees attack, deal two damage. I really needed five for me to do any good, so that's not going to do anything. Um... In any order, move one step and summon. 
So I get basically I just get both of those or one of those Draw and this one. Okay. And we're gonna reset all these, right? Yep. And then we get to upgrade. I'm thinking of probably going to do that one actually. Bring by location to a settlement. Hmm. Um. How did that help us? Uh, because he can't use uh, some of his abilities. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Huh? What did y'all do? He just transformed nearby stuff into settlements. Gotcha. They are so no longer caves anymore. Um, ah, okay. Okay. I have no grudge, so there's not really anything I could upgrade. All right. I have upgraded. Right. And now we draw cards from the action. Yep, yep. Just gonna shuffle it and then we're ready to go. Last day. You probably want to keep that one, yeah. Exactly. Here, yeah, those are to pass over. Come on. If you can take them, take them. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have that one as well. Good combo. Come on now, get in there, get in my hand. All right. I'm only passing one over, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Did you put another card in my hand? I gave it to you. Oh, okay. All right. 
uh, where are you? There right now. I'm missing one card, yeah. Uh, I'll give you this one. Can I? Nice. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's Beast's turn, right? Beast goes first. Beast goes first. All right. I think I got a strategy. Okay. Did I mess up? Hmm. I think I got it. All right. So I'm going to. Yeah. I screwed up. I gave back a wrong card. Dang it. Wait. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so, hmm, oh, maybe not, all right, so, the Banshee can move, or, gotcha, all right, so, here's what I'm going to do, Banshee's going to move up here, okay. and then, I move one step for each summon on the map. Yeah, so two steps. Or, or instead. Oh, that'll work. Um. Okay. Okay, and then let's see if this works. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> How long are you going to hold this in suspense? <laughs> I'm Come sorry. On. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm not trying to rush you. I just. I didn't kind of expect to devote three hours to this one game. You know, there's like 50 games I want to see. So. Banshee may take an action. All right. Boom. All right. So now I am attacking. Um. Do I have to pick what to attack if there's multiple things in there? Or do I attack everything? Yeah, you have to pick. I have to pick. Okay. Um. Alright. So I'm going to attack uh, Varja. What's this? <laughs> Okay. Is it, it that long to decide to just kill me? Well, <laughs> why not just kill me? Because I had to figure out how to get there and not move too many times. Um, you, have no, you, have, you have don't move cards, right? <laughs> yeah. Hold up, man. I ain't as smart as you. I'm sorry. All right. Um, so I attack and gain a beastly talent. Does that kill you? Uh, if I use the sword, it still only does one two damage. You have three health. Two health. So two health. Yes, uh, it's, it's lost one health. So we'll have one health yeah. left. You, I've lost one him. health, so I have yeah. two health. So this will you kill me. Kill him. Oh, you gotcha, you're right. Okay, boom. I killed him. <laughs> and I gained a beastly talent. I knew that was coming. You have two beastly talents okay. that just drafted uh, your whole hand yeah. and you can't move and attack. <laughs> Come on, you move and attack me. Jeez. 
<laughs> move your summons one step, move one step, and move your summons one step. Transform each nearby location. Avoid move two steps if you are revealed. All right. Uh, what, hap what happens when I die? Is that just it? I'm out of the turn? Yes, you are. Okay. And it, and it, and it was anyway, so I'm, I'm done for the game, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think we can uh, we can more or less call it here. I don't think I will be able to uh, kill you. Well, you just need to stop him from killing the settler, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can. That you don't. None of my items or cards go to you or anything like that. Uh, no, and actually, one of your uh, action cards goes to the beast. You made oh. the banner one. Really? Yep. Okie dokie. Uh... <laughs> and you get one. the pick? Oh, you get the pick. I get the pick. Well, yep. I mean, it's fine. If uh, I mean, it, it, this, this was really a tutorial thing, so I'm not, I'm not, don't necessarily have to like finish the game if it's time to end. I'm perfectly fine okay. with that. You have four health, and he has two attacks. If you can move to the other one, he can, he, he can't stop you. Yeah. Um. I think we can say uh, congratulations. Yes. <laughs> well, you played really, really well. Actually. Thank you. We, uh, Good job. Good yeah. Job. I am super impressed with this game, Asar. Super I, yeah. impressed. I am Ooh. gonna get my uh, my little my game group. What, what's the, what's the optimal number? What's the most number you can play it with this? Five, I six, four people. Four, four people. I can get four people to play this game easy. It's, I might need you to here. teach us though one more time. I think I got I've got the basics down for sure, but the uh, like yeah. the little intricacies like oh you, like he actually gets one of your cards because you killed him. Oh shit! If I'd have known that, I would have killed him earlier. You know, uh, you know, just little things like that that I can't know yeah. until I play the game two or three times. That makes total sense. Um, of course, and you. Probably don't want to read the rule book, but right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but also, I of course, uh, help you. I mean, it's just like any other game. Uh, once you play, you, when somebody's trying to describe the rules to you the first time, you're like, "What the hell is going on?" But once you play a round or three, yeah. then it's it's uh, not as complicated as it sounds. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate yeah, nice. it. Thank Good you for. Game. Good job. And uh, Dracula. Uh, yeah. Sorry if I sound frustrated at the end there. I was just like, why isn't he just killing me? I know he can kill me. Why is he making us wait? Because I thought me? I needed to do one more health. I thought I needed to do one yeah, more health. I thought I was I was trying to figure out so hard on how I could get, because I upgraded the uh, the Banshee. I was like, how do I get the Banshee to attack? Because I need two. I forgot about any. Yeah. He has nine cards in hand. Did he not draft move and attack someone? Yeah. I, was I, like, Come on. I did screw up. Me. I did screw up, but it worked out okay. This yeah. token is a bit, uh, a bit uh, misleading. Well. Yeah, I thought he, he said yeah, earlier. It was like you have one extra health, but it's, it's one damage instead. Mm -hmm. I will see. Um, I don't know if it's a. I don't know. The monster just seems far more interesting than a hunter here. You it's think so? Like, a, yeah, yeah. And so I don't, I don't blame you for your turns taking longer, but you have a lot more intricacy to your turns you know mm -hmm. like and also like I, I mean i got this i've i've had this for you know seven go arounds and i there's nothing that could i could have got a grudge with so how does that help me you know i can't spend it yeah, yeah i got I, I had to draft a card okay. to gain a grudge but that doesn't help me if you go first you know hmm Gotcha. Uh, like you, we we got to use. We didn't use any items. We didn't get to use any items, and you used beastly it's, talents like seven hard. times. That was the only that that is the only way the beast because y'all cornered me two three times. Like I was terrified at the beginning because you you just kept because because I you found my track. I was like I can't get away, and they they know I can only go this way or that way. So I mean that that makes the game balanced, obviously. Um, but it was, it was terrifying as the beast. Um, oh, we never even hit you. We never even hit you, man. Right, it but but you could, cause you, but you could track me. But it was it was hard for y'all to get into this to where I was and attack that same turn. I think. Yeah, 
but our our tracking and our like our tracking and our hitting cards are the same. You know, we can't do two blue. Yeah. So ah. That, you know, that's, okay. It made it really hard to actually hit you. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're on the same piece as you like six times, but we just can't attack at the same turn. Yeah. And because the beast gets to go first, yeah. Okay. Good to go. Well. Okay. Well, good game, guys. Um... Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Where's this? Uh, uh, you said there was a little uh, cat or something hidden in here. It's, it's uh, beneath. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't see it. There it is. Where? Dang it. Where? Oh. Uh, is it just stuck? Can the, the table. Gotcha. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Have a, have a good one, guys. Follow us. Have a social media or a news and the newsletter link. You guys have your own Discord in your in yeah. your chat or something here. Yes, that's correct. So uh, if you scroll up in our chat or in the Beast channel, you will find some uh, useful links. Oh, but not the Discord link. I, I can send it over to you. Uh, tonight at tonight in uh, three hours, we are going to be playing our demoing our party game sellouts. If anybody sellouts, if anybody has any interest in that, I would be interested. But we did right now. The we were at midnight. We oh, that's right, y'all. Yeah, soon. yeah. I'm yeah. on the East Coast and in the U.S., so that makes sense. All right, y'all. <laughs> this is a worldwide, one, worldwide con. All right, catch y'all later. Worldwide. Yeah, nice. Have a good one. Thank you for playing. You thank you, Asar. Bye. Thank you. Well, that was cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot.